Hey guys, welcome back to the Dr. Cliff AUD vlog. This is vlog number 58. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel and turned on notifications so you get notified every time that I release a new video, then today is the day to do it. And the reason that today is that day that you need to subscribe and turn on notifications is because next week I am actually going to be doing the walkthrough reveal of my new clinic. I'm gonna take you through it, every single room, explain kind of how we designed everything and, and why everything is the way that it is. And I really think that you're gonna enjoy that video next week and you really don't wanna miss it. So go ahead and subscribe right now. I'll wait for you to do that. There you go. Uh, you can hit the like button while you're at it. I'll give you a second to do that too. Okay, and then make sure you hit that little bell, which is the notification, so every time that I post a new video, you get notified. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, I'm actually not going to be talking about the clinic today. I'm going to be talking about a new venture that I started with three friends of mine who are all inside, in some way, shape, or form, inside of the hearing industry, okay? And the the project that we've been working on, geez, for the, what, last six months or so and one of the reasons that I kind of took a little bit of a hiatus from creating so many videos at the end of last year and the beginning of this year is because we were putting a lot of work into this particular uh, business venture that we're doing and I'm going to announce it right now. The name of the company that we've been working on is called hearingup.com and the we kind of didn't really know what we were going to do when we first started this. We knew that we had uh, a website that we wanted to develop for consumers and we weren't sure which direction we were gonna take it. And the whole purpose of that website, after a lot of kind of thinking about it, talking about it with each other, is that we wanted to be able to better communicate with individuals who are searching for hearing aids online. So currently, when you run online hearing aid searches, a couple of different things happen. You either go to a cheap amplifier company and you end up buying products that are just pieces of junk and you get taken advantage of because then when you want Want to return them for a refund, uh, magically they won't accept your phone calls anymore and whatever, right? And you have to dispute the charge or you have to uh, get you know, legal involved and all of that. Uh, so that's, that's a, a big miss. The second thing is, is that you'll go to these uh, companies online that are selling name brand hearing aids, and this is what we call the gray market. So what a lot of people don't realize is that when you buy hearing aids online, even if they are name brand hearing aids, you have no idea if those hearing aids are stolen, you have no idea if those hearing aids still have warranty. In fact, when a lot of hearing aid manufacturers identify that you purchased name brand hearing aids online, they void the warranty on you. In fact, just a couple of weeks ago, I had a person come in who had bought hearing aids online and they were from, uh, they were international hearing aids. And you can't take those hearing aids and send them to a United States company of that same company and get them taken care of, okay? So there's just a lot of things that people don't realize when you're buying name brand hearing aids online. On top of that, it is impossible to have best practices followed when you purchase devices online like that. Uh, I know that they say, oh, send us your audiogram and we'll upload your programming into the devices. I can tell you that I have never seen a hearing aid programmed well that comes right out of the box just with your audiogram entered into it. And, and uh, hopefully you've been watching some of my other videos of my 400 plus videos that I've created over the last four years, but uh, you just cannot get a customized hearing aid when you purely purchase it directly online. So that's the second type of, of thing that you'll get in an online search for hearing aids. The, the other one is you end up getting these private label hearing aids that you don't know what the technology level is. They say, oh, you know, you get, these are the same great hearing aids that you get, and they are all de-featured hearing aids. You don't get any in-office care. Uh, they try to say, oh, we'll set up an appointment with our, with our specialists online, but, you know, you might get some benefit out of those devices, but at the end of the day, there's no way to guarantee that you're actually getting hearing aids that are programmed correctly for your hearing loss. So uh, you end up still spending a decent amount of money for hearing aids that may or may not even work for you. So that's the other type that you get online. Then you get these, these essentially, I don't even know what to call them. They're kind of like referral services or uh, middlemen, third party networks, wh wh however you want to call them. But they're basically companies to where you, uh, you, they send you to a local hearing care provider to get discount hearing aids. And you have no clue who the local hearing care provider is. You don't have any clue if they follow best practices. You don't even know if they're 
even relatively good at what they do because you don't even know who you're going to until you've already committed to buying, right? So it's just really a, a crazy, crazy setup out there right now online. So we wanted to develop a website that gets you in touch with a local hearing care provider who follows best practices, all right? Who follows best practices, who has a, a reputation to uphold in their local community, uh, who is a doctor of audiology at least to start, and you know, who only work with the best hearing aids that are out there. And the, the whole thing here is that it, we just want a reputable site that recommends that you go to reputable audiologists who are dispensing hearing aids, okay? And we put a lot of thought, we didn't really know where we were gonna go with this, but I had the stipulation right out of the gate that if I was gonna do this, if I was gonna partner with them on a venture like this, the only way that I would be involved is that if best practices were really at the core of what we were trying to do. We want people to be able to get access to good hearing technology, we want them to be able to buy hearing aids online to a degree, but we really want them to be able to go to a local hearing care professional that they can know and trust are going to do the right thing to maximize their hearing performance. If my name was going to be attached to it, I want to make sure that things are being done the right way. There are individuals in my profession who have preached best practices for years, and then they go and they kick that all to the wayside and go start advising companies that don't follow best practices. And it's kind of like, you know, I look up to these people, you know, these people teaching in my profession, and I'm like, you know, they, they talked about best practices this whole time, and then they just like, oh, well, it's time to, I don't know, cash out, sell out, whatever the case may be. And then they go and they start advising these different companies that don't follow best practices. And that is something that I'm just not willing to put my reputation on the line for that. My reputation is too important for me. Uh, your performance with hearing aids is too important for me to, for me to as assign my name to something like that. Um, you know, the, the other side of it is, is that I can understand the rationale of, well, not everybody can afford to go in and see a local hearing care professional. And that's great. But the promises of a lot of these companies online is that you get the same level of performance without going to see your hearing care professional. And we just know that that's flat out not true. So if you're willing to sacrifice performance in order to save money, I'm totally cool with that. I've been cool with that since the day I started my YouTube channel. But I can't attach my name to anything that doesn't just promote the proper way of receiving hearing care so you can optimize your performance. All right, so that being said, this particular website, we are going to launch initially, uh, it'll be, of course, a website, when you launch it, it's, it's global, right? I mean, anyone can search for the website anywhere and be able to find it, but we're only launching it locally in Arizona first. All right, and, and, and my clinic is going to be really the only clinic. And the reason we're doing it that way is because we're kind of testing like, what things do we need to do in order to make this website uh, proper in the sense of uh, being uh, functioning within the, the legalities of each state that if a provider's in a state, it has to be legal for that particular state. I know the state laws inside of Arizona really well, so it just makes sense for us to initially launch it here, uh, test it out a little bit, and kind of find out where the kinks are at, find out what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, and then expand it out from there. And really, we're hoping to partner with a lot of great you know, doctors of audiology right out of the gate uh, to be able to get individuals who are searching for hearing aids online in front of the appropriate individual who can really, truly help them, who will follow best practices, who have a reputation that they can't hide behind the facade of a website, you know, like a lot of these companies that are out there online. So we'll see what happens. What I want you guys to do is just check out the website. Go to the website, see what you think, scroll through it, click on the different links, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, be brutally honest, I'm okay with it. We need to learn and get better. This is just the first iteration. I'm sure that it will kind of evolve as time goes on, but I'm really excited about it, to be honest with you. I think that between myself and the other partners that I'm not gonna reveal yet are, that are a part of this, we're, we're really coming at this with the right intentions, right? The right intentions to make sure that you get the highest quality hearing treatment humanly possible. And you know, you already know that I have the Dr. Cliff uh, network, which is now the Best Practice Pro network. Um, and this is gonna be something just to kind of elevate that as well. I have a feeling that a lot of those providers are going to end up being providers that are on hearing up that you'll have access to. But the more that we can make 
information available on, uh, online, the better it's going to be for consumers at the end of the day. So if we can help use this website to kind of promote that message of best practice care and high quality local care, then we will have done our jobs. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see where this thing goes. Um, but that's, that's one of the big projects that I've been working on with my uh, friends is, is what I would call them, my business partners uh, up to this point. And I'm, I'm really excited about to see how it goes. So make sure you go to hearingup.com, give it a look through, Keep me posted. Let me know what you think. Give me some, you know, some advice on what you would do to the website as well. All right. So I have definitely over talked my welcome here in this particular vlog. Um, still really excited for next week though. So if you make sure that you catch any vlog that I have done, make sure that it is the vlog next week. Uh, geez, the amount of time that went into designing the new clinic and building the new clinic is absolutely insane. The amount of money that went into it is also insane. I don't necessarily feel good about that, but I'm gonna have to just work for a long time to pay that off. But at the end of the day, I think it'll be worth it. So I'll get into more of the financial impact of the new clinic uh, in a couple videos from now, I'm sure. But as of right now, I hope you guys like this vlog. Make sure again that you've subscribed, that you hit that like button, and that you have the notifications turned on because next week's going to be a good one. Take care, and I'll see you soon.